All right, shout out to Juan First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh, Ba'ashem Racha Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the pots and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say shalom to the elect that teach the word in all truth, faith, and sincerity. And yeah, today, I just want to title this lesson, They Trying to Keep You in America. You know, and the ones I'm talking about are the leaders, you know, the self-proclaimed leaders of Israel, the ones of the circumcised, man. Pretty much. You know, all these um, Israelite leaders, you know, outside of pretty much great Mestron, under that banner, under that doctrine, you know, they're not in this circle pretty much. Their, their counsel pretty much is to keep you in America, man. You know, they tell you that you're Israelite, you know, follow the law, stand the commandments to the utmost, you know. But on the flip side, yeah, you know I mean, they're con they're conditioning your mind to stay here in America, man. They giving you wicked counsel, you know, to how to be a better American, uh, uh, it's like a better American Israelite, you know, telling you to bow down to the image. You know, you can still have fringes, but you need to go take that vaccine. You know, you need to be a a a. a, a you know, a good Israelite father here in America, according to the standards of this world, man. You know? So these devils, pretty much, because they are devils, is uh, conditioning your mind to stay here in America by their wicked counsel, man. You know, so I'm going to start off with this. This is uh, 1 John 4 and 1. It said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, see? And this is, to let you know, this is, um, these epistles is written to the elect. That's why I start off by beloved, man. You know? So it says, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high. See? It says, try the spirits, whether they are the most high. So pretty much how you do that, by the way, of what they speak, man. You know? That's how you know what type of person they are, what they bring forth. You know? And, and and with these and with these so called leaders such as Nate, you know, and uh, the flavor of the week, uh, Johanna, you know, that lets you know that the love of the Father is not in them. Matter of fact, this on uh, First John two, and um, uh, I just get to the point. Verse fifteen said, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." If the man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And how is that being shown out by the way of that doctrine? What they bring forth, man. What they advise you on, man. You know, telling you to continue in this society, not to uh, detach from this place, man. You know, they tell you to go and take the vaccine. Matter of fact, you be the first one in line to get it, you know, or to ultimately that chip, you know. They let you know that the love of the Father is not in them. Why? Because their counsel is pretty much telling you to how to uh, uh, pretty much be comfortable here in America, man. Because see, because uh, Johanna pretty much brought up, uh, oh, I think it was the guy that pretty much made the point, you know, about you paying your car note or your house. Or, you know what I mean? But this is what we're trying to get away from. We're trying to get out. Of, we, this, is, this is the first step of... Uh, uh, escaping Babylon is spiritually, man. You know, by the by the way, of the, the, the the philosophies, the ways of this life, and ultimately, till you can't even follow the laws of and, and, and legislations that this devil have passed down. By the way, of this vaccine being mandatory, you know, and ultimately that chip. This is a process of escaping Babylon, but this these these guys, you know, pretty much telling you to stay here, you know. To 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 uh comply with this man. You know? So it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high. And how is that being played out by the way of their doctrine, man? And we see that they are not of the most high because they trying to keep you in Babylon, man. Oh, with um where it was HOI with New Nazareth. They're not of the most high. They 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 need America to be here. For that new Nazareth to be built. 
So they're not of the Most High. It said, because many false prophets are going out into the world. See? It said, many false prophets, man. You know? And this is how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is able to get, uh, you know, do away with the undesirables, you know, because the carnal, like the Eddie Yashwam brought a great point, the, even the carnal, they need their prophets as well, man. And we see it. You know? We see it, man. But the point is, is with that council, it's pretty much keep you here in America, man. So this just further prove that they are not of the most high, man. You know, so this is um Ezekiel 11 and 1. It said, My over the spirit lifted me up and brought me unto the east gate of the Lord's house, which looked eastward, and behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men. See? So when you deal with the gates, that's pretty much that's synonymous with the leaders, man. You know, so when Ezekiel seen that he he seen uh, twenty five men at the gate, so it's pretty much tw leaders. You know, it says among whom I saw Jaazaniah, ja the son of Rezer, and Pelathiah, the son of Benaiah, princes of the people. See, then said he unto me, Son of man, these are the men that devise mischief. And give wicked counsel in this city. See, so of our own people, they are devising wicked, uh, they are devising mischief. And what's that? Pretty much gearing you up to take this mass scene. Pretty much getting you prepped ultimately to take this chip. You know, for you to bow down to the image, man. That's those are they giving that wicked counsel, man. And these are the other ones of the circumcised because these. Catfish eating pastors, you know, these pig feet eating pastors and preachers are the so called Christian, these crazy Christians, you know, they don't count, you know. These are the ones of the circumcised, man. They know who they are, man. You know? So these are the ones that's giving wicked counsel. It said, We say it is not near. And don't. Oh, uh, I, I see that there's no Jacob's trouble. You know? Uh, IGBK says, Yeah, I mean that um, Jacob's trouble is gay. They saying it's not near. There's no, they saying pretty much there ain't no hell coming, man. You know, they telling you not to prepare. They, they Actually, they're not blowing the trumpet of war. They're actually blowing the trumpet of mirth, of mirth man. You know, matter of fact, um, was that, um, I think that's Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 14. And um, in verse 7, it says, in, in even things without life, giving sound, whether pipe the harp, itself they give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is pipe the harp? So, meaning, you know, depending on the different sounds that a certain instrument plays, you know what vibe it gives off. Such as a trumpet, you got the new, you got the trumpet for the uh, a certain sound for the new moon. You know, you got a certain sound for a high holy day, but you also got a sound for the war, for the sword coming. You know, it says for if the trumpet given uncertain sound, see, so it lets you know that um you got to be in tune with the times that we're in. See, you're not gonna play a carnival, you know, a, a, a carnival. Uh, uh, sound, you know, carnival music during a damn house fire, man. That's an uncertain sound. You know, so it says, for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So that lets you know the overtone of this ministry is a warning. That's why I say, who's going to prepare himself to the battle? I ain't say who's going to prepare himself, who's going to be the first to the feast, uh, who's going to be laughing the hardest. Uh, be more joyous. It says, who's going to prepare himself to the battle? You know? So that lets you know the overtone of this ministry is pretty much warning the people, man, and getting them prepared, you know, for the onslaught that's about to come, man. You know, by the way, of the wrath of the devil, you know, through his military, him trying to prick you with this match scene, ultimately this chip. You know, this man, this man, um, which is goes back to how by Shemel Shai strategically, you know, setting up a famine, trying to starve you out to so you can comply with this system, man. You know? So that's the trumpet that we're blowing. But you see 
that these other counts, you know, start because start with these leaders, you know, they're they're not preparing you to the battle. They're giving you uh, they're giving an uncertain sound, man. And that's why the roundabout way they saying that what that it is not near. That hell, Jacob's trouble is not gonna come, man. You know, so this back is Ezekiel eleven and three. It said, "We say it is not near. Let us build houses." See, and don't don't you see? Uh, we actually that actually is happening right now. By the way, of New Nazareth, so called New Nazareth being built by the H O Y man. They actually building houses. You know, in the in in in, in and especially in this time right now. With all this commotion going on, that's what they geared to. You know why? Because then they 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 saying it is not near. It said this city is the Kadron and we will be the flesh. See, so pretty much ultimately they throwing you back in America, man. You can know you're Israelite, you can have your fringes, but you still here in America, man. Matter of fact, um uh, is that Michael. And that's the counsel that they're giving you, man, to stay here. That's the counsel that they are giving you, man. It tells you that they are um, wolves and sheep clothing, man. And, 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 you know, matter of fact, let's get some real quick. Because they just further prove what they, is, is they, they not right. You know, they can, they can appear to be right. They can be, they can look like the super Israelite. But once they open their mouth, you see what's on the inside, what's on their spirit, that they ain't right, man. So I'm going to start. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump around on this. So this is Saint Matthew 23. I'm gonna, uh, start at one. It said, "Then speak Yahweh said to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, the scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. See, so they they are leaders. These different scribes and Pharisees, with all of them went wicked, but a lot of them weren't, man. You know, and these are the ones he getting on the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man." It says, all therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, they observe and do. See, so many what just like IUIC, they, they very hardcore when it comes down to the law. You know, they bid you to observe, you know, the law, the father the law, standing commandment to the utmost, which is right, man. You know? That, that, but it says, but do not, do not ye after their words, for they say and do not, so pretty much. Don't do out of that words. Whatever the scripture say, yeah, they say you know the law say, you know, uh, 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 don't eat pork, don't do this, don't do that. Oh, good, you know, but after their works, for they say and do not. So pretty much, you know, would they would uh, their their works would they promote the spirit that they have, you know, such as continuing here in America having that festal spirit, you know, taking this lightly. Because this is a solemn thing, man. It says don't do don't do after their words. Don't 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 subscribe to as you as you BK. Don't subscribe to to uh IUIC or these other accounts outside of Great Millstone and, and, and under the teachings of Great Millstone, because ultimately that's those are the teachings of Yahweh Shah, man. You know? So it said don't do after their words, man. Because ultimately when they open their mouth, you know, you're gonna see that um, they're not right on the inside, man. The inner man, you know. They actually, matter of fact, let's get this on. Um, jump down. Same Matthew twenty three, and I start at twenty five. Said, "Warn to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess." See. So you can see they they having their appearance of being righteous and clean, but it's it's on the inside is a sinister is a sinister guy on the inside, you know. It says, "Thou blind Pharisee, clean first that which which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also." See, so the inner man, man, and as you can see, they're not they're not. Uh, they're not detaching from America. They actually give you more and more uh, uh, in this place. More, uh, you know, these these pretty much they got you goddamn more in tune with America, more than you was in the world, man. You know, 
It says, Warn to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto white sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. See? It said, Even so, ye are outwardly, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. See? So, pretty much. You can you can appear you can look the part, but once you open your mouth, you know you send you Israelite and you this and that, but you saying take the vaccine you you pretty much saying stay here in America, comply and and, and concede to the image man. That's that wicked counsel that these men are giving you man. You know. So let's get this on. Book of Micah, chapter 3 and 1. It said, And I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, O ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? See? So to let you know, these are really talking to the ones of the circumcised, man. Is it not for you to know judgment, man? You the ones that's supposed to, you know, you, you put yourself as a leader. You know, you're supposed to be on point. You know, what you bring forth to the people, man. You know? It said, who hate the good and love the evil. And that's what you do, man. You know, you might say, you might talk about the law, uh, you know, the law, statutes, commandments. You know, but there is more to that, man. Gearing our people up to, to get out of this place. You really scoffing at Yahweh by Hashem outside. You, you thinking somehow, some way it's going to be out of your... Uh, your uh your works, your external works by the way of the laws, yeah I mean, that you're gonna be out of here, man. No, it's gonna be out of the uh, the mercies of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, man. But it said, who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them, and their flesh from off their bones, who also eat the flesh of my people. See, and that's what you do. You are you are uh devouring the people, you actually profiting off the people, man. And that's why they have these large, uh, these other counts got large um, numbers, man. You know? So they eating out the people, man. It says inflate their skin from out them and they break their bones. See? So you're not building the people up, man. you actually breaking them further down. Like I said, you got them more acclimated here in America, why, uh, you know. More than they was in the world, man. But you not building the people up. It says, and they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot and as flesh within the cadron. See? So you pretty much in that cadron is the big pot. It's, a, it's pretty much a, a really a big pot for stew. And that's, that big pot is what? America, man. And that's what you, you had geared the people minds up to pretty much stay here in this place. To be content. You know, with, uh, you know, being an Israelite, having, you know, fringes, getting a nine to five, taking a vaccine and continue here in America and become a better, a better parent, you know, in America, man. Uh, uh having a, a better job in this place. You know, you got Israelites that got damn five year plans, 10 year plans in this place, man. Why it start off by the way of these, these heads and what they push forth, man. You know, and anyone that pretty much scoff against the microchip, that means they want to take it, man. That means that they want to uh, pretty much, they know that's going to be a, one of those, um, that's going to be a, a a way of relief. And, you know what I mean? So they're going to take it. They're going to justify taking that chip because that's going to be a, a form of relief unto them, man. You know, and they see... The clamps is being, you know, everything is being clamped down and it's leading to that, you know. But they gearing you up for that, man. So I'm going to end off on this. This is Jeremiah 23. And it ain't, it ain't no um, coincidence, you know. This pretty much a uh, cuss out on these false prophets. It ain't no coincidence. St. Matthew 23, man. You know, but I'm going to get this. Um, This is... um. Jeremiah 23 and uh, it's a lot let me see. Um, 
Yeah, this, oh, it's like verse 16. This Jeremiah 23 and 16 said, Thus said the Lord of hosts. See? So that lets you know. That line in itself lets you know, is it how about Shimei I was shy? And it's war talk when it comes down to this because it said host of armies. So it lets you know you really, you really don't pull be, um, you, I mean, you really pull be getting this thing right, man. Because we speaking on uh, about the words of the Lord, the Lord of hosts, man. You know, when they say the Lord of hosts, that lets you know this is a very serious line, man. And death is involved when they say the Lord. When they say the Lord of hosts, that means death is involved, man. You know? So it said, Thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. See, they make you empty. Pretty much everything they teaching you is not it's not no substance to it, man. That we just read in Michael, it said they break your bones. They ain't, they ain't building you up. You might know the West Franges. You might know not to eat pork no more. Or, you, you know, you you, you know uh, about the certain high holy days. But are you being prepared for the hell that's about to come? Are you, your, Is your faith being built up? You know, are your, are your mind, your, is your mind being girded up for that evil day, man? You know, when you got a wholeheartedly trust in your house by some y'all side, see, our faith about to be tested, man. You know, but what these these self-proclaimed leaders tell you, trust in the so-called white man, trust in this devil, man, the beast, man. You know, comply, bow down to the image. That's what they tell them. That's why I said they make you vain. Because ultimately, you read Second Ezra the Ninth chapter, it tells you that um, the ones that's made in vain, those are the ones that's gonna die. Because when the Lord said the famine gonna come, somebody gotta actually suffer from that famine. You ain't gotta know their name. You ain't gotta know what. They story is how they were born. The ultimately they height of their life was they were gonna die of the famine or the sword or the wild beast, man. That's why I said ultimately the the words that these prophets promise unto you, they're gonna make you vain. It says they speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. So ultimately, they don't have a priest of the back of their statement, man. You know, they pretty much don't have a priest of the bag up, you know, of what they say, just like Yohanna. He told you to get the mat scene and then and have a then have not now scripture. Yeah you know I mean, not now scripture to bag up what he said, man. You know? So ultimately that's why it start off the Lord of hosts. Don't don't listen to these guys because if you do, you gonna die, man. You know? So it said they say still unto them that despise me, the Lord have said. Ye shall have peace, and they say unto everyone that walk after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. See, and that's a roundabout way what they preach, you know. That's 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 pretty much a roundabout way what they say. Yeah, you're gonna have peace. Oh, that would um, you know, uh, you read on the twenty eight um uh, twenty eight chapter. That was pretty much Hananiah was saying, you know, that peace was coming, you know. And the Lord told Jeremiah to cuss him out and tell him that, tell him that he's going to die the same year. You know? But that's what pretty much these other leaders say, that there, there's no evil that's going to come this way, that you know you're going to have peace. Like I said, they bringing that festal spirit, but this is really a solemn thing, man. Because it tells you, you we are fighting to you, you have not danced. Meaning what? We know that we Israelite, we got a promise coming. They say, we have mourning to you, and ye have not lamented. Meaning... You know, if we tell you the bad news, meaning uh, it's a dangerous place we got to go through before we get the kingdom, which is Jacob's trouble. All hell breaking loose. This man coming down with great wrath. You know, they don't they don't bring that forth. They don't bring that forth, man. You know, that's why it's going to be a a, a, a a repercussion from putting words in the mouth of your by and your house shot, man. That's why you read Revelation 22 and say, who, who, who going to... So add words, the place gonna be added unto you, and you take away the words, you know, you gonna your name gonna be taken out of the book of life, man. And that's what you see. They they add and taking away things. You know, they putting prosperity and peace and you know what I mean, continue in this place, and they taking out Jacob's trouble and all hell bringing um breaking loose, man. So these devils, you know, by the way, these Israelite leaders. 
are trying to keep you in America, man. You know, and we know the results of America is going to be utterly burned with fire. You on this land, you know, you're not in them chariots, you're not of the elect. That's your ass, man. And that's what you see these devils doing, man. They continue, they trying to keep you in this place, man. So, yeah, I can I just hold the edifying. I don't want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that teach the word and our true faith and sincerity. DTA, Ababa, Ababa.